Did you see it almost took me out? And it will climb across the windows. It will climb stairs. I mean, wow, it actually did hit me there, see? And then we're gonna go 180, just like so. And once you're perfectly happy with the placement, making sure, then you go to the plus sign. From there, I'm gonna turn his shoe. That's right, just like so. That's gonna be his next pose, just making sure that I'm perfectly happy again with the positioning. We need to make both suction cups stick to the glass. So I will move over an actuator called suction cup. Suction till success. And then I choose which cup I wanna use. This one looks like a car, and then it can change into a moon rover like one of the transformers. And it can also transform into a train. In the app, you can move the train around by using the controller. Just slide the circle around your finger. You can select which vehicle you want. Hey everyone, my name is Cindy and welcome to the Home Automation X channel. Thank you for watching. Now we have done videos on robots like Vector the Good Robot, but this one here is no comparison. It is called the ClickBot and their slogan is a thousand robots in one. Build your robot your way. It is a modular robot that supports programmed and unprogrammed robot creations. I'm going to build my unique one-of-a-kind robot along with some of their many suggested designs. Stand by, let's go in and action. Now you can see on the box, it is for ages eight and up. So why am I playing with it? <laughs> they come with 50 plus pre-designed setups. The big guy is back and on the right side, that's big. And it has science, technology, engineering, art, math, all in one. Pretty amazing stuff. You go to the playground and you're able to see all those design setups. You can make your very own designs and it has very intuitive technology. So you can see your robot come to life like never before. It's a very rewarding way to see just how great an innovator, a creator you truly are. The ClickBot comes in four different configurations you can order. They have the starter kit, the standard kit, the full kit, and you can also order the maker kit, which comes with more pieces. The full kit comes with two boxes or parts for you to build your own robots. I will go over what they are. All right, well now I'm gonna show you what's inside the first box. And I'm gonna start with, look at these stickers, that's fun. <laughs> All right, I'm actually gonna start with the brain, look at that. So it is actually used as the main controller and power supply for all the pieces. It has a camera and a screen on the front with various sensors. And the speaker is actually at the bottom in, and you have two connection points to click in your modules. Now these here are the ball points, the ball joints. And we have four of them right here and uh, they have four different connection points on each one. They are used for connecting the different modules together and they make the ClickBot more flexible, which is always a great thing because we want to be able to reach those next levels. Now it also comes with two wheels. That's right, you'll be free wheeling and they click together and come apart and they attach to your ClickBot to make it mobile. So you can easily build a race car or a space rover. How cool is that? All right, now we also have the skeleton and that's used for building the limbs of your ClickBot. They can be used for configuring different robot bodies. Now the mount right here is actually used for fixing your ClickBot on a surface if you want to be stationary, like on this table, for example. Now this right here is the locker and it's used for reinforcing the connections between two modules. All right, looking inside box number two, we had more stickers that came in. We also have four ball joints, four more of these connecting your modules together. We have four more skeletons as well, which is really great to create your different robot bodies. And you also actually have two additional wheels. And again, they can be snapped together just for your own convenience. And then they make your um, robot basically move like a car. Now what is new in this box is there are two suction cups to help your ClickBot climb and get that, you know, added support and stickiness. They can easily walk across your floor or even climb your windows. How cool is that? <laughs> now you also have two modules which are used for measuring distance and that is these guys right here and they will actually tell you uh, by a sensor and you can actually uh, attach them and build a self-driving car. Now you also have a huge gripper here that is, uh, it has a built-in processor to make your ClipBot grasp 
objects of various shapes and sizes. Hiding under that gripper, you have more feet. That's right, that's quite a feat, guys. And these modules are made to have your ClickBot walk. Now, each SmartFoot has pressure sensors to make the ClickBot aware of its environment, which is more than more humans uh, really do. <laughs> now, you really get a lot of pieces in the full kit. I'm going to start by creating my own personal robot. And first, you download the ClickBot app, and then you connect your ClickBot by scanning the QR code. All right, guys, this is my favorite part. We get to create our own personal robot. How fun is that? All right, so when you're in your app, you are going to go to the Go Create on that platform right on the top and then you're going to go to the plus sign top right corner and that is going to allow you to make your own robot. Now you're going to notice that your head is already there. It's going to show you that and let's get started. So I'm just going to grab one of the attachments here and I'm going to line it up accordingly. So I just hold this, hold this and match it up. And once you do that, it's just snap and go. It's that easy. Now I'm going to just do that to make sure I like it. I'm actually going to play around with it too. It's pretty neat how you can see it's already got the attachment. It's so intuitive. I love that. All right, the next one I'm going to put on the right side. Again, you can tailor it as you see fit, but this is just how I want to create my own personal robot. And sometimes it's a little finicky, so I'm just going to switch hands here. All right, so line it up and we're good to go. Voila. So awesome. Again, you can play around with it just to see how cool it is. And I'm going to do this side now. Again, just lining it up and snapping it in place. Let's speed this up, shall we? Okay, all right guys, check it out. This is my badass ro Oh my goodness, why are you lying down on the job? He is just not level. I think we gotta add some more, you know, oomph to him so that he can stand on his own and show himself. All right guys, as you can see, he was falling over before, so now I've added some leverage to the situation. So I've placed one right here in the middle so that it can have more oomph, and here we go. I'm just gonna add this part right there, and that will allow him to stand on his own and be recognized. There he is, isn't he awesome? Now we have some other pre-designed setups, but I wanna know in the comments below if my robot is better. I mean, can your robot do this? Ah! Ah! Hey, hey, watch it, buddy. I know I'm your main squeeze, but come on. Now, what I love about this is you can make your ClickBot climb up and across your window, door, or wall. I mean, literally, climbing the walls. It sticks to the surface using its suction cups. It's so cool. And I like the excited expression on its face. Let's check it out. Just make sure they're both sucking. Wow, here we go, guys. Did you see it almost took me out? <laughs> and it will climb across the windows. It will climb stairs. I mean, wow, it actually did hit me there. See, nice guy, nice guy. I, I was giving you nice comments and you try to take me out, really? How about you guys? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to program your ClickBot to climb. With your app open, you are gonna to go to the Go Create button. You're gonna go now to the robot you just created, and from there, you go to the left side to the plus sign, the Create button, and then it should pop up to the next screen. For some reason, I have an odd screen. I'm just gonna cancel out of that, but we are good to go now. It's on the motion screen, and you're gonna to go to the left side again and hit that plus sign. Then we're gonna to go to the first one on the left, which is demo motion. The first pose, he's a natural. We can save it as it is by going on the right side to the plus sign. From there, we're gonna to go to our next pose. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's anchored properly. So put your hand firmly on that. And then we're gonna go 180, just like so. And once you're perfectly happy with the placement, making sure, then you go to the plus sign. From there, I'm gonna turn his shoe. That's right, just like so. That's gonna be his next pose. Just making sure that I'm perfectly happy again with the positioning. I'm gonna to go to the plus sign. Then from there, I'm gonna let him fall naturally. I'm going to the plus sign again. 
Now that he's face down, well, that doesn't look right. I'm going to turn his head around just so he can see what's going on. So I'm just making it seamless. And again, plus sign. Voila! Now that we've done that mini save, we're going to go to the grand save on the top right corner, which is that save icon, and then you can save your motion name. Besides the motions is programs. I will show you how we programmed our robot to climb the glass. You can choose different actuators, sensors, controls, operators, variables, and motions. We set everything to loop three times, and I started turning on the display to an excited emotion. We need to make both suction cups stick to the glass, so I will move over an actuator called suction cup, suction till success, and then I choose which cup I want to use. I will do the same for the other foot. And now both feet will be sticking to the wall or glass. Now before he can move, I need to deflate one of the cups. So I drag that up and select the cup. Now I previously showed you how I created and saved the motion. So under motions, I will find the one I saved then drag it under my last action. This next one I use because the ClickBot's cup would bounce off the window. So I move this ball joint slightly to put pressure on the glass before the suction cup gets enabled. The remaining actions are to have the ClickBot flip around back to the original position, and then the loop does it two more times. This one looks like a car, and then it can change into a moon rover like one of the Transformers and it can also transform into a train. In the app, you can move the train around by using the controller. Just slide the circle around your finger. You can select which vehicle you want. I think I want to try that moon rover again. He can go fairly fast. You can have races, everything else. Just having a freewheeling good time. Now I'm going to change it back to the car, and I'm going to take that for a spin. Woo! Super awesome. Now this is a great, you know, great fun. This is a sea turtle, and it's walking towards me. Now it's slowly making its way to the right. <laughs> I can actually make him stick out his hand and wave. How cool is that? Doesn't he look friendly? This pose actually makes him look scared. I can even make him clap his hands. And he can also do a little jig. Look at that. He's dancing. That's right. Give it a shake. That's right. Would you like some fries with that shake? <laughs> all right, guys. This is the motorcycle, and it's getting all charged up, ready to go. There it goes. I like the two wheels in the front. It kind of looks like a chopper, doesn't it? <laughs> you can make it do left and right turns pretty quickly. You can go pretty fast. Let's see. Woo! All right, guys, this is my robot arm, and I'm about to pick up this block and move it around. Now, for all you parents out there that are trying to get their kids to pick up after themselves, this is a great way to make it a fun process. Mind you, it does take some time to get used to the controls, just like sometimes it takes used to, you know, get our kids under control too. And here we go, it is doing the impossible. Now, you notice too, it is stabilized because it is using that table suction. A great way to make picking up after ourselves a fun process. Now, if you have kids that are interested in being construction builders, this is almost like a forklift. It's a car with that whole pickup action as well. The gripper is now coming down to pick up a block and I can drive it around to pick up and drop off objects as I see fit. It's a great way to get a taste of that building kind of framework and by building your own design. Super cool stuff. And here it goes. Woo! That's right. All right, we have a quadruped here making his way. Now we have a baby quadruped. Look at it go, look at it go. And I don't know who this little guy is, but he sure looks happy to see me. All right, moving on from my little creations. I will say in the app under Playground, you can scroll across to see the latest designs. And you probably will recognize some of the ones I just created. 
When you click on the one you want to build, it will guide you through the process in a step-by-step -step 3D display. The module will flash on the robot, indicating where to connect the next piece. It will also show you the alignment of the piece right on the front display. This will continue until the robot is completed. And of course, if you make a mistake, it will tell you so you can correct it. The process is easy to follow and you will have your robot built in no time at all. Once it is built, you can control the basic functions by moving around the controller in the app. If that looks too easy for you and you want to challenge yourself, you can create more advanced movements and control features for your ClickBot through Blockly by Google. Simply drag and drop different block coding to create programs that will make your ClickBot truly one of a kind. Both simple and advanced programs are possible. They also have weekend challenges in the app with prizes for the winner, which update every single week. This can be a fun gift for any kid or the big adult kid who wants to learn coding or simply just wants to build and play with a robot. They have an online community in the app, which could be helpful if you don't know where to start. The battery will roughly last about one to two hours when fully charged. And I put a coupon code down in the description to get a discount on any of the kits you purchase. But don't leave just yet. We have these videos on the side you might be interested in. Click on either one of them to see our latest and greatest content. Subscribe to see more videos. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Capture some swag. And don't forget to check out our website at homeautomationx.com. Thank you for watching.